Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, CHS, and welcome to this week's Morning Buzz. Today is Friday, April 28th, and it is an A-Day. We got the chance to sit down and talk with the men's tennis team. I head down to the studio with more. Hey guys, we're here with the boys tennis team. What is your name and what position do you play? I'm Nolan Deck, I play first doubles. I'm an Nate Parikh and I play second singles. I'm Austin Warren and I play third singles. I'm Bradley Deeds and I play first singles. What is your favorite memory? My favorite memory is uh, winning sectionals sophomore year. My favorite memory is also winning sectionals sophomore year. My favorite memory is also winning sectional sophomore year. My favorite memory was clinching the sectional semifinal for the team. What is your favorite hype song? My favorite pregame song is uh, Middle of the Ocean by Drake. My favorite pregame pre song is Broken a Minute by Tory Lanez. My favorite pregame song is Cody and Crazy by Future. My favorite pregame song is Never Recover by Lil Baby. What is your guys' favorite cereal? My favorite cereal is Frosted Flakes. My favorite cereal is Rice Krispies. My favorite cereal is Special K. My favorite cereal is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Thanks, guys. Now let's send it back to the studio. Good luck this season, guys. Next, let's send it to Roman and his Blair Witch segment. Hi, I'm Roman Schroeder, and today I'll be talking about the Blair Witch Project. The Blair Witch Project is a horror film about footage found in some discarded cameras of three young filmmakers who had gone missing. This film came out on July 30th, 1999 and was directed by Eduardo Sanchez and Daniel Merrick. Many people did not like this film because they thought the characters were lost and afraid. Come on! They also believed that the characters were real people experiencing genuine fear, but some people felt it was pretty good because of its convincing effect and the low quality cameras being used. This terrifying film made around $248 million and became popular in the late 1990s while winning several awards. Thank you all for listening. I hope you all enjoyed and learned about this creepy movie. Wow, Roman, that was some cool stuff. Next, let's see how The Simpsons have had the uncanny ability to predict the future. Hi, I'm Kira, and this is how The Simpsons predicts the future. The Simpsons is an animated TV show, the longest running under multiple categories, following a dysfunctional and all-around dopey family called You Know It. Now there's plenty of time where something that happens in the show ends up happening in real life, often years afterwards. Some examples, video chatting, the Snowden ordeal, the mass of the Higgs boson particle, a Nobel Prize winner, Trump's election into presidency, quite a budget crunch for President Trump, and the fact that a tiger attacked Siegfried and Roy, and there's many more. So how could this be? Many people have said that with the sheer number of episodes and jokes and all, that it was bound to happen, but to this degree. Well, some of it comes down to the writers being educated and connected. For the Higgs boson particle, one of the writers actually reached out to a friend who was a professor and had him create a realistic mathematical equation. The Trump prediction was a little different. Before the Simpsons episode, there was actually an interview where he was asked about the possibility of running for president, and he didn't fully turn it down. I would say that I would have a hell of a chance of winning. This was incorporated because the show is a satirical depiction of American life, a parody of the real world. So when writing, there's often a focus on what could actually happen, but would still be unusual in a way that they could make a nice joke out of it. I mean, that's what satire is all about. As always, thanks for watching. What will they predict next? Do they have a crystal ball? Thanks, Kira. Now the movie mystery.
Last week's movie mystery was Eurovision. Maybe he was drunk. No, he said, and you might think that I'm drunk, but I am dead sober. That's all for this week, everyone. Have a good one, Bulldogs.